What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome. And as you may have seen on our channel, I lent my DJI SE to my dad and uh, well, he crashed it, he broke an arm here. And uh, the good news is, is my dad is super handy. So he actually repaired it. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So if you have a DJI Mini SE or a Mini 2, this process is pretty much the same. Even the Mini 1 is almost identical to this process. So if you want to learn how to repair an arm on a mini drone from DJI, this is how it's done, right? So we broke it down into 25 different steps and we're gonna walk you through it. Now, before you get started, you have to keep in mind, this isn't easy. It's a tedious process and it's gonna take some time. Plus, you're gonna need some special tools. You're gonna need some small screwdrivers and some little tools to help pry it open. So if you don't have that, they're not super expensive. You can pick up this set. We got one on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Got a link down below if you need one of those. But just kind of keep in mind, this is not an easy do it all for everyone. There's a little bit of time, elbow grease, and soldering involved. So if you wanna see how it's done, we're gonna walk you through it. Now again, I don't advise that you do this, and DJI will repair your mini drone if you crash it. There's even price guides on their website how much everything will cost. That said, we're gonna show you what we did, got this mini SE back up in the air. So before you get started, make sure that you order the right parts. Uh, initially, we ordered a mini, an original mini arm, and that isn't compatible with the mini SE. The mini 2 arm and the mini SE arm are compatible because they have the same motors. Okay, so step one, uh, you're gonna take out the battery and the SD card, make sure you have a good uh, open space to work and good lighting, right? We had to find some better lighting as we got going. Also, uh, make sure you have the right tools. Okay, step two, there are four screws on the bottom that you're going to want to remove. Uh, a nice small screwdriver will do the job. Uh, found that the uh, the number one that I initially tried wasn't the best. Now this demagnetizer magnetizer is actually helpful. If you magnetize the tip of your screwdriver, you're gonna have a better chance of getting those uh, screws to kind of stick to the screwdriver as you pull them out. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to shake them off. Notice I, I stuck them on the little magnet pad off to the left. Um, then you're gonna pry off the top shell. This is where those tools come in super handy. This little blue plastic pry tool is the tool for the job. Then there are some other screws on the bottom that you're gonna take out again. Make sure you're putting them somewhere so they don't roll away and you lose them. A Little bit of work here. All right, step five, you're gonna pry off that little bottom cover. Again, use that little plastic prying tool to kind of reach into the cracks and kind of work your way around getting it off of the bottom of the, the mini drone here. It's kind of a little bit of a process. All right, step six. Uh, there are some screws here that uh, are over that little black cover. That is a heat sink. Um, you know, so kind of be careful with that. That's not something that you're going to want to to damage, but, uh, you know, pull those screws off, and then you're going to kind of work that off. Now, that blue stuff, that is thermal paste. Don't touch it. Uh, don't smear it. Make sure that uh, you have that uh, because that's going to kind of help work with the heat sink to help keep your drone cool. So uh, set that off to the side and uh, keep it there. Now, there is some glue kind of uh, on the tabs that you're going to have to pry off to get uh, this little board off here. So be careful with that. And then you've got some con connected cables that you're going to have to kind of pry off, right? Uh, so be delicate with those, just move them off to the side, um, and then, yeah, a little bit of work there, um, and then you can take that board out, right? So you want to be super careful with that, uh, set it off to the side, uh, don't touch the blue paste there, um, and you'll be in good shape. All right, step 10. We've got that GPS unit in the way. You're gonna to wanna to take that off so it's just easier to solder. Handful of screws that you're gonna to wanna to take out. Again, everything is so tiny. Uh, so a little bit tedious, um, but it can be done. Step 11, we've got uh, the arm to get off. There are a couple of screws on the side and then this pin that you're gonna kinda of have to pry out. Uh, that was not a super easy step. Again, set those off to the side so you don't lose them. Step 12, 
you got to desolder your wires. But before you do, make sure you note the, uh, uh, the order and the color uh, that they're soldered on the board. You want to make sure you re-solder them in the exact same order, right? If you don't, you'll notice your motor is spinning in the wrong direction, and that's obviously a very bad thing. Right. So if that happens, uh, you can go ahead and uh, switch the wires, uh, but it's also good to just kind of note how they were how they were set up. Step 13, you've got a gray antenna in the in the arm. All right. It's a little UFL connector. You know, just kind of pop that out and slide the arm out. Step 14. Right. You're going to put that arm in. Make sure you thread uh, those wires through um, kind of, you know, make sure you kind of note how they were uh, threaded through to begin with um, and then go ahead and put that arm back in, right? Then we got to get that arm pin and screws back into place. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. You got to kind of push the wires through, uh, kind of hold them out of the way so that you can get that pin in. That was a little bit tricky. And then after you get the pin in, you got a couple of screws to add keep that arm nice and stable, right? Then you got to solder the wires back in. Again, remember, how did you desolder the wires? Uh, you want to put them back in the same order, right? Then you got to put the GPS unit back on, right? Get it into place, and then the screws go back in, holding it where it needs to be. All right, step 18, we got to get that uh, board in, back in place. This is uh, an important step. Now, you're going to want to kind of make sure that you kind of seat it in there properly, pry those wires out, um, and then you're gonna have to connect them back on. Uh, then you can go ahead and attach those antennas once the board is in place. Um, you know, be super careful here. You don't wanna get that blue paste, that thermal paste on your finger, so be careful as you're working here. Step 20, you're gonna put that black heat sink back, back on top of the board, uh, blue on blue right? Um, so just kind of line it up carefully, get it into place, and uh, then you got some screws to make sure that it stays where it needs to be. All right, step 21. You got to put the bottom cover back on, um, you know, just kind of snap it into place. Everything lined up should be in good shape. Then, of course, we do have some screws and you can snap the top cover on. Now you can see that we have some damage here in the front that we didn't take care of because it is cosmetic. And uh, you know you may have noticed the gimbal. We actually did a take the gimbal out um, to, to kind of check that too. But this is just an arm repair. Uh, there's some screws that kind of go back into place. You know, then drop in your battery and test your drone. Make sure it flies properly, right? This one flew properly, but turns out we have a problem with the gimbal and the camera, so that also has to be replaced as well. So bummer on that, So, but it does fly just fine. Um, power up and uh, give her a test. Hopefully this was helpful, right? Go back, you know, if you're gonna repair this, take your time in doing so, you know, pause it. Uh, we've got it chaptered out so you can go step by step. Hopefully you can get your mini SE back up in the air. Hey, so hopefully this was helpful and we helped you get your mini back together. Make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com as well as on our Patreon. We give away free stuff, drones, parts, controllers, all sorts of fun stuff. Good luck everybody and happy flying.